This video is to explain the knit stitch. Now, I have already cast on, using the EZ method, my eight beginning stitches. And the EZ cast on is the easiest one, but it is not the best, and you'll see why in just one second. So to begin my knitting, I'm holding all my knitting in my left hand. And I've got my hand covering up all of my stitches except my one stitch, which is the next one to be knit. And in my other hand, I have my working needle. And I'm holding them all overhand, like I'm about to go drumming or riding a motorcycle. My first stitch, I'm going to put the tip of my needle between those two stitches. And that helps me scoop up this stitch in the correct direction. And then I'm going to hold my knitting needles like a letter T. Now I've got to use my left hand to hold this needle so it doesn't slide out. You want to be sure that you've got this diagonal right here. If you've got the diagonal, you are all set to do the next step, which is to wrap your yarn around the back needle only. When your yarn is up above and you want to give it a little pull straight down to tuck it in, there it goes. The back needle slides down, sneaks underneath, and comes back up in the front. And then the last thing is to slide your old stitch off. Now the easy cast on makes this funny little bridge of yarn right here. Don't pull that tight, leave that nice and loose. And we're gonna move on to our next stitch. Again, put the tip of your needle between the next two stitches. That helps you scoop this one up in the correct direction. And if you hold your knitting needles like a letter T, you'll get this diagonal right here. If you've got your diagonal, you're ready to wrap your yarn around the back needle. And then give that little pull doink, to tuck that yarn down. Then watch this back needle. It's going to sneak down, come underneath, and come back up. And as it comes up, it pulls that new stitch right through. There's your new stitch. You don't need the old one anymore, so we're going to slide that off. And again, that funny little bridge of yarn, because it's your first row. Try not to pull that too tight as we move on to your next stitch. Knitting needle between those two stitches. It helps you scoop this one up in the correct direction. Hold your needles like a letter T, and be sure you have that diagonal. If you do, you're ready to wrap your yarn around your back needle and then give that little pull. Watch that yarn disappear. Boink. There it goes down. My back needle slides down, scoops underneath, and comes back up and pulls that new stitch with it. Goodbye old stitch. Next stitch is ready to go. Put your tip of your needle between those two stitches. That helps you scoop this one up in the correct direction. Hold it like a letter T and be sure you have that diagonal. If you do, you're going to wrap around the back needle only. Give that little pull. Boink. Notice I'm pulling straight down right here, and that tucks that yarn between my needles. Then I'm going to slide my back needle down underneath. and comes back up, and it pulls that new stitch right through. There's my new stitch. There's my old stitch. Watch out for that little bridge. Don't pull it too tight. Front to back. There we go. And double check you've got your diagonal. Wrap around your back needle only. Give that little pull straight down. Doink. Back needle slides down underneath. And slides back up in the front. Slip off your old stitch. Put your tip between those next two stitches. That helps you scoop this up in the correct direction. Be sure you've got your letter T in your diagonal. Wrap around your back needle only. Give that little pull. Doink. Back needle slides down underneath and comes back up again. And when it does, it brings that new stitch with it. Slide off the old stitch. Front to back. Watch for your diagonal. Wrap around your back needle only and pull down. Back needle slides down. Back needle goes up. Slip off your old stitch. Last one. Front to back. Make sure you've got your diagonal. Wrap around your back needle only. Give that little pull. Back needle slides down, sneaks underneath. People call that through the window. It's kind of coming through that little window right there and up in front. And that was my eight stitches. I'm ready to turn my work. That means put it back in my left hand. Put it back in your left hand. Here's my yarn coming down on the front, scoop to the back. Here's my next stitch ready to go. All my other stitches are sliding in my hand, hiding in my hand. And here's my needle ready to go. This is my working needle. I'm going to put the tip between these two stitches. It helps me come at this stitch in the correct direction. And there I am again, my letter T with my diagonal. If you've got that, you're ready to wrap your yarn around the back and in between. Give that little pull. Blink. Back needle slides down. Back needle goes up. Slip off your old stitch. 
Tip goes between, helps you scoop this one up in the correct direction. There's my diagonal, so I know I'm good to wrap. Tug. Back needle slips down, sneaks under, and comes back up in the front. And slide off your old stitch. Here I am again. Scoop up the next stitch. Check for your diagonal. Wrap around the back needle only. Give that pull. Doink. Back needle slides down, sneaks underneath, and look when it sneaks underneath, it pulls this stitch right through for me. Slip off your old stitch. Fur around to back. Wrap around your back needle only. Give that pull. Doink. Back needle slips down, sneaks underneath, and comes back up, and brings the new stitch with it. Slide off your old stitch. And there we go. Fur around to back. Around the back needle only. Give that pull. Notice I'm pulling straight down. Doink. Back needle slides up and pull the old stitch off. Front to back. Wrap around the back needle only. Give that pull. Doink. Back needle slides down and sneaks underneath. Comes back up in the front. And brings the new stitch with it. Front to back. Around that back needle only. Give that pull. Slip underneath and come back up in the front. Here's my last one. Front to back. Around the back needle only. Slip under, come back up. Here's my second row. Look, my knitting is already longer. Turn your work, put it back in your left hand. All your stitches are hiding except the one that's ready to stitch. Your yarn is down in the front and scoop to the back, and you're ready to begin again right from here.